Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's Physics Lessons. In today's lesson we'll be looking at non-renewable energy resources from the energy topic of GCSE Science and GCSE Physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to describe what is meant by non-renewable energy resources, give some examples and describe some of the issues with using them. The majority of energy we use every day comes from fossil fuels. The term fossil fuel is given to coal, oil and natural gas, because they are formed from the remains of animals and plants from millions of years ago. Our homes, schools, offices and factories are run on gas and by electricity, which is generated by burning coal or gas in a power station. Oil is used to make petrol and diesel to supply vehicles like cars, lorries, aeroplanes and ships. Fossil fuels are taken out of the ground by mining for coal and drilling for oil and natural gas. These are non-renewable energy resources. For your exam you will need to know that non-renewable energy resources cannot be replenished. In other words we can't make any more, so eventually they will run out. Nuclear fuels, like uranium and plutonium, can also be used to generate electricity in nuclear power stations. As these fuels are also extracted from underground they can't be replenished either. So nuclear fuels are also non-renewable energy resources. For your exam you may be asked to evaluate the use of fuels to generate electricity so let's look at some of the pros and cons of each type. Firstly, the fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas. The positives include, they are easy to store and transport using pipelines and tankers. They are relatively inexpensive, as the infrastructure has been in place for many years the use of fossil-fueled power stations is quite cheap in comparison to other sources of energy. They are very reliable compared to most other energy sources because our use of fossil fuels doesn't depend on weather conditions. The negatives of using fossil fuels include, they are non-renewable so they can't be replenished. They produce greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, which is a factor in global warming. They also produce sulfur dioxide which causes acid rain. The positives of using nuclear fuels like uranium and plutonium are, no greenhouse gases are produced unlike with fossil fuels. And they produce much more energy for each kilogram of fuel compared to fossil fuels. The negatives are that used fuel rods from power stations contain radioactive waste which needs to be stored safely for many years. Although nuclear reactors are safe in normal use, accidents such as in Chernobyl are dangerous because radioactive material can affect the environment for many years. To summarize, non-renewable energy resources cannot be replenished so they will eventually run out. Fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas, as well as nuclear fuels such as uranium are non-renewable. For your exam you need to be able to discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of using different fuels to generate our energy. If you found this lesson useful please give it a like and subscribe to see future lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.